Gigi, welcome back to my channel. So I thought for today's video, my last few tutorials have been kind of on the more dramatic side, so I thought we could take it down a notch today. Mr. Cat? Oh, there you are, honey. I decided today I was going to do something a little bit more natural. I have been traveling so much, and I also, oh my God, I'm so sorry I forgot to post a monthly favorites last month. I feel like I'm way too far in to catch up, so I'm gonna have to just pass on January this month. It has been such an insanely crazy month with the launch of my documentary. Like, I've been to screenings all over, like Park City, New York City, LA. I'm gonna be going to Toronto very soon. And the reactions that I get afterwards when I go up and talk to people is so special and sweet. And to have something out there, especially regarding my transition, so public and so real and raw. And like, you know, to have my dad on camera and my dad was in the crowd for some of the viewings, it's like, so surreal to me that I can just share my viewers and my family at the end of the day. It's like two worlds I never thought that would collide and I couldn't be happier. Like it literally just does not feel real. It's like a pinch me moment. But moving on to the makeup because I am a blank canvas right now and I'm like ready to be beat. And so I'm gonna go in with my favorite Benefit Porefessional Matte Rescue Primer. And on days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I literally only use like this much. A little does go a long way and I love the consistency of this stuff. I've just like been using this all the time and I really will only put it like on my nose and on, on my chin and on my forehead. Oh my God, now the cat wants back in. Do you hear him meowing? And this stuff gets a little bit like sticky, which I really like because I feel like my foundation sticks a lot better that way. And my skin has just been so dry recently because I've been going from like, you know, LA weather to New York City, cold, 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 and then back. And it's just been like, girl, it's been just a lot. Recently, I've been using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. And I have always been skeptical about using a foundation and a concealer in one because it's like either the foundation is gonna be really, really thick like trying to be a concealer or it's not gonna be as thick as I want my concealer to be just trying to be a foundation. So I was definitely skeptical to try this but I've been loving this product for natural days. It is a medium to high coverage foundation and you know with layering and stuff you can really amp it up and it comes in the cutest little box. I have two shades here, both of which probably are too dark for me right now because I've kind of been just like not doing spray tans. I mean this one is like who are we trying to kid right now? So I'm gonna use the 8 Golden Neutral. We're just gonna pretend that I'm this skin color. <laughs> what is going on? You want it in this room so bad? She's like, get me out of here. So as I was saying, I love this applicator. It's so easy and it reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape concealer because you can just kind of and it's like easy for on the go. What I usually do, I'm sorry, I'm looking in the monitor down here. What I usually do is I do, you know, just on my cheek like this. Ooh. And this definitely is like on the darker side for me, but once it's blended out, I think we'll be good. So I kind of just load it up like that everywhere. And that was like two or three little pumps of the foundation, just to give you an idea. I'm gonna be taking a damp beauty blender and kind of going to town on this. <laughs> and I mean, this is like a far cry from matching my actual skin tone, but I mean, don't we all buy the makeup shade that we wanna be? Not what we actually are. And some days, honestly, I'll wear this without a powder just because I really like the natural finish of it. And it is like, just such a pretty texture on its own. You know what? I'm gonna get nice and close up in here. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, this is one layer of the foundation. I love it. I think that it's so pretty and I had to really go <laughs> ham on the neck. And I'm actually not gonna set my face today just to really stick with the natural theme. I think that that gives a really nice, pretty coverage and we're obviously gonna go in with highlighters and things to like juice up the skin later. So moving on to brows, I'm just gonna be sticking with my tried and true Brow Gal Brow Pencil. And I use shade 05. And on natural days, I really don't go crazy with the brows. I just really fill in the whole entire brow darker. I don't really go in with, you know, powders and all that stuff. I literally am just a one product kind of girl. Can we just talk about this foundation for a minute? I mean, going back to it, and I feel like it really does change color like on your face because now I feel like it's blending a lot better. I highly recommend this foundation. I paid $27 for it and I believe there are 20 shades available. So hopefully you can get color matched at a Clinique counter near you, but moving on. So I feel like on natural days, blush makes a really big difference in my face because it just brings back the color once I put the foundation on it. So I'm going to be picking up my Kylie's Diary palette. On the back, the packaging is so cute. It's 2GG from Kylie and the front is all sparkly and cute. And I'm going to be using some of these later. And I'm going to be taking both of the blushes in this palette and mixing them to get kind of this pink orange little combo going on. And because I am going to be wearing pink today, I might go in with a little bit more pink, but I really like the 
the oranginess of this. And I'm just starting on the apples of the cheeks and moving back. And I feel like this just brings dimension back. Kind of just makes you look like you have a little bit of feeling, a little bit of rosiness, a little bit of shyness going on. Mm, I'm so shy. And if you ask me, I feel like this is the perfect pink and literally the perfect orange. I love these shades and I always travel with a pink and an orange blush because you never know what kind of look you're gonna do. So for eyes today, I'm gonna be actually using another Kylie product. I think this was her Valentine's Day launch, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a little cute palette in Kiss Me and I love these little guys. They're so, so cute. And on natural days, literally I'll only wear like one or two. Sometimes, I mean, I'll just throw like a bronzer in my crease. But for today, we're gonna be doing a little bit more. I'm gonna be using a dome-shaped brush and I'm gonna be taking the left side, which is called Sweet Thing. I'm just gonna be taking a few dabs of that. It's a very, very natural peachy color and I feel like it would look good on a lot of skin tones. And I don't think we need an eye base today. It's just very, very natural, and this might be a look for some people, but I can just really throw this in my crease in like five seconds and be done. I'm actually gonna be taking that same brush and going underneath the lash line just so it all kind of blends together and it looks more like a wash of color rather than like a full on shadow. And literally I did like two dabs in this eyeshadow and it's like the pigment is just like, it's good, girl. So now taking Main Squeeze, which is on the right. It's still very peachy, but this I'm going to be putting right under my brow for a little pop of color. And on natural days, I just love anything shimmery just because it looks like, oh, oh, I'm like wet all of a sudden. I had no idea. You're putting a little bit of that on the lid as well. Okay, and I need to share my new favorite Makeup Forever product. This is the Starlit Powder, and you guys need to check these out. And they are the, just these extremely shimmery eyeshadows. This one is the white one, but it has a gold undertone. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Loose Pigments. There was one I used a lot. I don't remember the name. Was it Pink Opal? It literally was this, but it shined pink instead of gold, so I was so stoked. My favorite thing to do as of lately, especially on natural days, is to literally take a tiny little brush like this, Lick it and then dab it in there and just put it on the inner tear duct. This is like literally the only step that you need. Like, are you joking me? Like, hi, I'm awake, how are you? Got seven minutes of sleep, but just look so awake. This step just really takes it there for me. And I'm actually gonna be taking a little brush and going in and putting a little bit of this on my cheeks as well. I've been loving this glow and it does start a little bit harsh, but you just need to Blend it out and it gives you this beautiful, beautiful glow. And putting a little bit of that, why did it just sound British? A little bit of that on the top of the lip as well. So this highlight might be a little bit much for some people because it is at the end of the day like an eyeshadow, but I love it because I love shimmer. I love an intense highlight and it's so versatile and it's like the tiniest little packaging ever. So put that in your bag. So it is a natural day, but I'm still going to be putting on a pair of lashes. I feel like these really do make the biggest difference and I know all of these girls with their lash extensions and I'm sure it must be nice for like the first couple days or week or something, but girl, lash extensions all the time, I can't even imagine. Do you have lash extensions? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, I can't imagine always having them on my eyes and not being able to rip them off at night. But I do see the appeal and you know, lashes do make the biggest difference for sure. So on natural days, if I really wanna turn it out, I'll just do like, you know, some Clinique and then like a lash and a little bit of brow pencil and I'll be good to go. So these are the Lily Lashes in Mink Ella. Mink Ella. If you guys follow me on my Snapchat, Gigi Gorgeous, you would have seen the huge box that she sent and I'm like, I'm set for the year. Oh my God, and I just put so much glue in that. Oh my God. So while we're waiting for the glue to dry a little bit on those and become tacky, I'm just going to Put a little brow gel in these bushy brows that I need done. All right, so popping these bad boys on. Did I cut these too short? We're not sure. All right, and to just cut down on time while those dry, that glue is drying, we are gonna go for lips. So this is Kylie Cosmetics as well, and this is the Head Over Heels Liquid Lipstick. Is this the one that I wanted to use? No, this seems really dark. You know what? I'll just do a bold lip. We're gonna go for it. Oh, booger. <laughs> Casual. I don't know if I like this color with this look, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, where did I put the lid? Oh, all right, now for the lipstick. Mmm, 
That color though, mm, and you can never ever beat the smell of a Kylie Jenner lipstick. So I feel like I wanted to do more of a natural makeup look, but knowing me, I just went for it. I mean, this really is something I would do on like a natural day. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and I've been loving this mascara. I love the packaging, I love the soft wand, I love the product, I just love it all. And I know a lot of people aren't a fan necessarily of putting mascara on after the lashes, but I just always end up, even if I put it on before, I always end up putting it on after just because I just like the look. And you know what, just to make this lip a little bit more daytime, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the Marc Jacobs. I love doing this to lips to make them ombre. And I think this would look really pretty. So that lightened that up a little bit. And of course, the final touch, my favorite white eyeliner on earth, the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in white. All right, and finally, we are done. And it may seem like a lot of products and maybe more than you guys are used to, but I did skip a lot of the skin. I didn't do any cream contour, not even any powder contour. Literally just did blush, highlighter, and the Clinique foundation. And the skin looks bomb to me. It feels really lightweight and nice, and I kind of just went in on the eyes. Let me know your must-have product if you were to just have one. If I were to pick one, I would definitely say mascara. It doesn't matter about foundation or a blush or highlight or anything, even though I love all those things being blonde and having you know really light eyebrows and really light eyelashes it makes the biggest difference on me i can't wait to see what you guys say down in the comments and until i see you guys next time stay gorgeous